as I was jumping at that full time whistle victory, it just took me back. When was the last time the Black Stars won a game for me to celebrate like this? Uh, I saw some of the comments under my highlights video talking about they did not do anything, they still did not play well, Otuado has a lot of work to do. Hell yeah, he has a lot of work to do. But if he can find a way to win whilst getting that work done, I'm all for it. I currently don't care how the Black Stars win as long as they win. Welcome back to the channel and it's a victory to celebrate for Ghana Black Stars against a Malian side which many did not fancy Ghana to get anything from. And we did it. We got the win. Even Ghana, even though Ghana is a behemoth of a country in terms of the history, rich football history at that, we were underdogs heading into this one. And that is fact. We have to be happy and pardon us for being overly excited. Today we're going to review the game, uh, look at the talking points, where we did things right, where we got things wrong, and how we can improve it ahead of the Monday clash versus Central African Republic. As usual, subscribe if you haven't, click on that notification bell to get more updates. We'll jump right into it. But uh, before I continue, many people are saying that because Jordan and you got the winner, he should be starting the next game versus Central African Republic. It's a big no. Jordan was used as he should have been used by a coach like Chris Hutting. Otoado was brave enough to put Jordan from the bench. And we've always been talking about the fact that Jordan Ayew gets tired. He stays on for too long. He's much more useful as a substitute or he shouldn't be playing 90 minutes because he gets tired quickly. He came in as a substitute, fresh legs, beautiful pass to Pate. Pate could not finish, but then uh, he found the winner in the end he was used effectively and perfectly and i don't expect that to change in monday's clash the black stars did not start well in this game as has been the case in many of the black stars last few games mali were all over us and uh, they could have uh, probably gotten a goal or two not nah, but not for the if not for the your heroics of Lawrence Atisigi, who I have to salute. Atisigi, I salute you. A great, great goalkeeping performance. We could have been two or three goals down if not for his saves. Uh, the Black Stars were in on goal. Well, they got into the final third of Mali, and it was not even a shot on target. The 25th minute was the first time that happened. It looked like it was going to be a long night. I would criticize him heavily for this because he does not do this at his club side West Ham. And that is why he's being touted as one of the best players in the Premier League. His selfish play, Kudus Mohamed. Kudus Mohamed's selfish play. He should not be doing that with the national team, along with Enes Noama. Noama, in my opinion, was out of place in the first half and will struggle to influence the game. The Malians uh, ran us ragged at some point in time, and uh, it was interesting that their goal came against the run of play when Ghana were getting into it, and Antoine Selom Semenyenko were having half chances. And talking about Antoine Selom Semenyenko, it looked like he was a bit too isolated. It looked like the three back system, is what I suggested, is what Otoadu used. And my oh my, was I impressed with Ali Seidu. My goodness, the guy was amazing. At right centre back, he did amazingly well, along with Mohamed Salisu and Alexander Juku. I enjoyed watching him. He was the rock at the back, uh, bombing forward. Uh, also intercepting tackles, showing his strength, showing his abilities. Right centre back seems to be a real great fit for him. I was excited to see how well he adapted to that position. The three back system uh, saw how Gideon Mensa was bombarded in the lead up to that first Malian goal. Gideon Mensa had two Malian players on him, and uh, in an attempt to get back after attack, making some uh, bombs forward and trying to get back in. He got, he got run out and the cut back and shot, unfortunately, caught us all off guard. And Lawrence Atizigi, unfortunately, could not, and I mean, could not do anything about it. It was a deflected shot and uh, unfortunately for us, uh, Mali uh, found the back of the net. We came back in the second half with much great time petals and Antoine Selom Sevenyo could have easily found the goal in the early minutes of the second half. A shot across and uh, he stretched 
but could not reach the ball unfortunately uh, but it was not long before uh, Salis Abdul Samed with an amazing pinch perfect cross uh, found Enes Nuama who had uh, been a lost puppy in the first half in terms of the position he was playing and found the back of the net game on for the Ghana Black Stars after that goal it looked like Mali gained the impetus once again and Ghana uh, were soaking up the pressure. As was it the case in the first half where it looked like Otoado's formation was set up for them not to lose rather than for them to win. Considering how important this game was, how a win was so so imperative, it did not sit well with me. Well, Otto I knew probably what he was doing. The substitutions came in and off went Kudus Mohammed. The selfish play, in my opinion, not the best. Kudus, Kudus, you are a great player. You are unselfish with West Ham United. Please do the same with the Ghana Black Stars. We beg you. Because uh, without that kind of cohesive and coherent play where every player looks out for the other and tries to find who is in a better place to finish chances, we will struggle. And uh, it did not take long, well, it did take some while before the Black Stars found the all-important winning goal. Jordan Ayu, Abdul Fatawi Sahaku, Elisha Usu came in and uh, they changed the dimensions of the game. Jordan Ayu in particular found Thomas Partey in some space. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper was big and was able to stop Partey's chance to win it however in the dying embers of the game a dribble on the left flank uh, found a black stars player on the ground coach otoado uh, was shouting he was shouting uh, for a penalty but jordan played to the whistle as every player should and uh, shot the ball into the back of the net it was a great night of football a great night uh, to cheer the black stars on excited i was with that win and damn anyone who says uh, that we shouldn't be overly excited and that it's just to wave a smiley don't remember cheering a ghana win pardon me once again for being overly excited pardon me uh, for enjoying a win which has been so long time coming congratulations to coach otuado he got his substitutions right he got his tactics in the end right because at the start it didn't look like it was working it looked like he was uh, uh, more afraid to lose than excited of the possibility of all three points well where does that leave us uh, this is where it leaves us Ghana are level on points with Comoros yes uh, they will play tomorrow and we will see how things go on from there but it was a great night of football uh, for the Ghana Black Stars Three points in the back, six points on the board in World Cup qualifying. We are back on track. Monday, we go again versus Central African Republic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening. <laughs>